Churchill uh, once described Russia as a, a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. And when you look at the Chinese economy, you sometimes think those words should be applied there. Uh, quite simply, how has this such a massive economy managed to transition from planned economy to quasi-market economy without some sort of crash in between. That's what the experience of virtually all other countries which have been through that phase. And yet China's managed to avoid that. But it's still got huge issues there. There's a massive capital overhang. The amount of investment is unbelievable, astonishing, and there's clearly excess capacity as a result of that as well. And you just can't defy economic gravity forever. So there are going to be consequences. And that's why we think that China is actually heading for a hard landing. Now, a, a hard landing doesn't necessarily mean a deep recession, but it does mean something that is far less than the sort of perennial 10% per annum growth rate. So growth over the next decade, we think, will be significantly less than it has been over the past decade. And we also think there's going to be more variation around that. It's not going to be a steady state sort of number, which it has been in the past. So what does that mean? There's a significant risk of a very serious hard landing in the Chinese economy. There are bad debts in the banking system, this investment overhang, which have to be worked through, which have to be resolved. And that could lead to some sort of painful period. But in the long term, the prospects for China actually, I think, look even better one of the amazing things about the Chinese economy is the long-term potential for consumption. We're going to see a shift away from investment. It's going to be higher quality investment potentially in the future, but a lower quantity of investment. And that lower saving, which goes along with that, is going to really drive consumption forward. Chinese savings ratio is around 35%. The UK savings ratio, less than 5%. So there's a huge untapped potential there as UK companies and companies around the globe really tap into that consumer's potential, we'll see the real, real potential for China's impact on the world economy.